Hi, my name is Tom Ludd. I'm a freelance graphic designer and founder of the Designers League. Today I'm going to give you a very brief overview of using assets in Affinity Designer on Mac. When working in brand, print or digital, it's very often that you're having to reuse a lot of elements in your designs across several different projects. Assets in Affinity Designer make this process very simple. Let's bring them up. First we go to View, Studio, and then Assets. As you can see, I've already started with some brand elements. To create an asset, it's super simple. Click on the object that you want to create as an asset, and drag it. That's now an asset that you can then drag out and reuse in different areas. Deleting them are just as simple. Right click and press delete. You're also able to create subcategories. So I want to keep my brand element separate to my UI elements. Let's now click on this UI element and drag it to this subcategory. I can also rename the subcategory to UI elements. Now, handing over to other people is a super simple process. There are two main ways. You can right click and export. And then save to our folder. Importing them are just as simple. As you can see, just opening up the AF assets folder or file and pressing open. They now appear ready to use. You can also embed in your document. Pressing that means that when you send this document over to whoever's going to be using it next, they'll already have those assets baked into the document and therefore you won't actually need to send them the assets file. Okay, that was a very quick overview of using assets on Affinity Designer for Mac. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.